What's up guys, this is Tim from Illuminaries. I'm gonna talk about our mural design process from start to finish and how we make revisions on the fly. So when we walk into a space, it's usually super boring, right? No color, and that's why they brought us in there. So we're thinking, how do we make the first impression of this room amazing? Like I want the visitor to be like dope. This Take out their camera and take photos of it. We're focusing on a feeling and how can we convey an emotion, usually like joy or excitement. In this case, we decided on a tree as the content of the mural because they're fun to draw, they're awesome, and we can you can have fun with the branches of how they're gonna flow around the room. So we started, we picked this corner here for the for where the trunk would start and then branch out from there. All right, so here we're in the Procreate app roughly sketching it out, adding details, seeing where the branches go, how will the branches wrap around certain objects in the room like mirrors and chairs and shelving, and just keeping in mind like how is all this gonna look from the initial impression at the front door. So now that I'm happy with the basic shape and layout and all that's pretty set, I'm gonna move on to color and come up with a few options. So here's like a normal colored tree and then a more sinister look and then like a more subtle look and we decided to go with a mixture of those. So let's get started. So we're going with the two color schemes just because the wall colors are different in the space. So we're going to flip flop the um, color scheme as it crosses that corner. So I like how the branches are coming out. The lighting is awesome, but the trunks, how they're coming together, I'm not happy with that. We didn't really have a full plan or a sketch on that whole night and day theme. We just started with it. And so, and now it doesn't look right. It looks like two different trees. So I'm gonna take a photo, drop it into iPad and sketch some more. I like how this sketch is coming out, so I'm gonna go back to the wall and start painting it. So before the iPad, I mean, we would have probably just sketched this out in paint um, or paper and, and went back and forth in the paint. It would have talk, took a lot longer. Um, it's just awesome with the new Procreate app that we're using. You can just be more free and take more risks with it because you're so fast to edit. So after painting for a while, I'm still just not happy with how it's turning out. So I'm gonna go back to the iPad one more time and focus on like how do these shapes fit together of the two trunks. And second is how does the lighting work? How do these two colors come together with the lighting? And so when I get to a good place here, I'm gonna go back and paint it again. So here with the leaves and branches, we're using like two different green schemes here. The desaturated, uh, like darker green is like the background. It's trying to indicate that it's further off in the distance. And if you think of the leaves like a dome and then the, the brighter green is in the foreground and we're using like a stencil technique here. Um, don't really use stencils much, but it works well here. Just layering it up with different color greens.
And you're not pressing it? You got it. You want it? Oh, go around the lines, on the inside of the lines like I did. It's all right, don't worry about it. We'll fix that. There you go. It's all right. Keep going, do, do the whole line. Get in closer. Boom, there you go. All right, now watch. No problem. I'll just put a dot where the eye goes. Okay. Yeah. So this one came out pretty cool. I really like the lighting, I love the vibe. What we learned, I guess the takeaways from this project was uh, sketching, I guess more planning is what we need. Um, when we first started doing murals, we almost freestyled everything. We didn't really sketch much. We did a little bit, but didn't really work out some of the visual design problems. We liked solving it in the moment, and I still do like doing that, but I guess depending on timing and how much time you have what i learned from this one is just like sketching more planning more up front but um both ways of approaching it are fun to do so uh thanks for watching if you made it this far please like subscribe comment and we'll see you on the next one